fire Matt Canada chance broke out in the second period. We had a guy call in earlier saying it broke out right near him that he heard a couple of he described as younger people uh, who were chanting it outside the building, who were a couple sections away from him, who were just dying to have it gain a little traction. And it did. That's his story anyway. That's what he observed. And he said he was embarrassed. But the majority of callers today earlier in the show said that they didn't have a problem with this, that this was expressing their feelings, that this is the Steelers' fault, that they've done nothing, and that frustrations are leaking everywhere, including across town to the hockey rink. Ron? Uh, I just don't think it belonged at a hockey game. I get it at, at Acrisure Stadium. People pay their money to get in. Mike Tomlin said it when he was asked about the first fire Canada chance after during the Cleveland game. He said, hey, our fans are passionate. We want them to be fat and hungry and spoiled. We're in the entertainment business. We're supposed to entertain them. You, you want to be just, you know, vent, uh, register your disapproval of Canada at a, at a football game. I'm okay with that. I didn't think it belonged there last night during a hockey game. I agree. I agree. It just, it didn't feel it's almost right still at piling all. piling on. It didn't. Know? Yep. 412-928-9370. Uh, if you want to weigh in on that, something just felt sort of, I don't know what the phrase is, but uncomfortable, wrong. And yet I get it. You know, the, 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 the Steelers refusal to do anything about this situation has people frustrated. It's been what? Almost two and a half years now. They have the third lowest scoring offense in football. It's It's been ineptitude across three quarterbacks now. And they've doubled and tripled down on Matt Canada. Having said that, embarrassing, is that the right word? Maybe. Yeah, I, I, I felt, agree with I that word. I felt that word I felt for Pittsburgh. Because, you know, all over the country on social media, they were saying, uh, Penguin fans calling for Matt Canada's firing. Uh, it just, to me, it's a bad look. Uh, you know, it's just a bad look. You know, that last night was supposedly a festive night, and I know the Penguins let everybody down by blowing the third-period lead, but it was the Eric Carlson debut in Pittsburgh. It was the Connor Bedard. You know, the national TV cameras were there, and we got shows on now that they're talking about. Hockey fans, you know, call for... Uh, uh, you know, Canada's firing. I, I just thought it was out of place. Let's go to the lines. Folsey, what's your take on this before you give us a call? We're out of Studio B, by the way, here in Monroeville. Uh, Bowser Chevy in Monroeville having a wonderful time. Folsey back in the home office. What's your take on this? Uh, if I was there last night, I probably wouldn't have participated. Uh, I did think it was kind of out of place. But at the same time, man, I mean, I understand the fans' frustrations. And like I said, I probably wouldn't have started it or participated in it if I were at the game. But I don't know if I can totally crush fans for, for doing it um, because of their frustration level. And I also think that it's while it was the season opener, it's very early in a Penguin season that I think if all the fans or most fans are honest with themselves, they probably don't think is going to end up in a championship at the end of the day. So it's still top of mind right now in Pittsburgh sports as the Steelers offense, because this is a football town. So, I, you know, there is a part of me that really understands it and why it happened last night. 